Oh, Jesse's fast food and takeout. Jesse, we just blew a circuit on the backboard at the Rivoli. Now you've got to come down and fix it. Okay, Andrea. I'll be there right away. Sorry, it's the Rivoli. It's, it's my job. I don't believe this. This is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. I don't believe this. Take the car, you take some weirdo kid off the street, you just you go to bed with him. Is that all you worry about? I mean, there are serious problems in the world we could discuss. But all you and Julie think about is that your little girl is going out with someone you don't approve of. Well, leave me alone. You know you're behaving completely irresponsibly. Easy. Would you listen to me, please? Would you just listen to me for a minute? Please. You okay? No, Father. I saw a film about the bombing of Hiroshima today. I was sick at the thought of such cruelty. <laughs> that chance humanity has, huh? When things like this happen to people who are supposed to love each other? Thanks for bombing my Hiroshima. Honey, I'm sorry I grabbed you. Leave me alone. Dropping by for a little chat. 
Just tell me that John is Uncle Pat on my nose. Down there and, and to the left. Just to give you guys a little space. So. Um. Hi. You're a friend of Jesse's, right? All right, do me a favor. Carry this up to the studio for me, will you? Thanks. Let's put down the table, will you? You look a little down. I'm all right. A little confused. Uh-huh. Well, Jesse can be a little trying, can he? It's a trait that he gets from his mother. <laughs> It's not Jesse. It's me, my mother, my father. My whole lifestyle, I guess. Personally, for me, being a teenager was one big pimple. Everything hurt. Hated everybody. I mean, first you're a kid, and, and everybody's protecting you. And then suddenly you're not a kid anymore. And everybody's blaming you. Maybe I should live somewhere else, like Spain. Spain. Spain's good. Spain's a good choice. Southern California for me. What you're talking about is the great, perfect elsewhere. Anywhere. Yeah, I remember wanting to be elsewhere. But instead, I, I fell into this summer job, looking after a playground in a slum. And, uh, all the kids there were... Well, today, we, we'd say that they were underprivileged. Yeah. And they, they were looking to me for clues to live their lives by. Me. I, I, I couldn't let myself be bummed out by my own problems. <laughs> Am I getting preachy? <laughs> Jesse says it drives him crazy. No, I, I guess I'm thinking about myself too much. Well. I want you to take a look at this. What do you think? That's nice. Nice. I try not to be embarrassed by how obvious I am. It doesn't work. <laughs> you know I mean, don't forget the demonstration tomorrow. Huh? Buenas noches, senorita. Adios, senor. I'm sorry, but I, I promised these people I'd shoot them a video. They're, they're making a pitch for a record contract tomorrow. Hang in for an hour or so, I'll be alone. It's all right, I've got to get my act together anyway. I'll take a walk or something. Hey, you're not running home to mommy, are you? Well, you know, when in doubt, phone home. Yep. I've got to find a place to crash. Just like can that. stay here. I'd like that. Show you what a good cook I am, all right? <laughs> what are you writing here, Jesse? A drop in the center or something? <laughs> You better deal with Born to be a Star. I'll get lost and call my mom. At least to tell her I'm all, I'm all right. She must be just about ready to jump out the window by now. Okay. Look, Goldilocks, this ain't no place for refugees from Scarberia. Why don't you try your local shopping mall? Because if you're looking for a little excitement, this is not the place. So, Jessie, why don't you give Miss Pussyface here a quarter and let her call her mommy and let's get on with our work, okay? Come on, Larissa, she's all right, okay? Go out at your shorts. I'm sorry, I have to do this. And don't come back, Goldilocks, unless you're interested in some interesting sex. Oh, come on, Larissa. Come on, Jesse. <laughs> We're all interested in hot, interesting sex. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Hey, look, what's it? What? Hey, you lost three. 
good time. Sorry about this. Yes. Can I stay here tonight? Oh, look, come on. We've got a lot of people who need beds here. No, there's this guy who's following me. Seriously. Well, we'll give it a shot. I just have this feeling that everybody was dead here. Do you know what I mean? Like I was the only person here. Until I saw you. I feel like praying. Do you want to pray with me? Our Father that art in heaven, Jesus, you bring such joy to my heart. Give me peace beyond understanding. Amen. Now I feel better. So you're not used to being in this kind of place. Well, you should relax. Because this place is a paradise compared to where I've been. Once I turned tricks in Quebec, and the place I stayed was sort of like a dog kennel. It was one of those company deals. They brought us in to take care of the miners. But after two weeks, they had to take me to the hospital. Because I was sort of like raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> 